Hey guys, welcome back to another Drew's Music Corner, Drew Ratliff Music Edition of Guitar and Music Stuff. My name is Drew Ratliff, and you are back on the channel of The Adventures of Drew and Amanda. Um, before I get started, if you are new to this channel, you know what to do, and you've heard the spiel before, click the little bell at the bottom, click the like button, click the subscribe, because we've always got stuff coming out that's worth watching, crazy adventures, crazy information, stuff that you can learn, stuff that you can want to do. I don't know. Do it. Become our friends because we need more friends. It's been a long COVID experience where we're all sitting around at home. And in that time, I have gone ahead and finally bought myself a blue chip guitar pick. Um, I mean, it was subliminal at the Bluegrass Festival at IBMA in Raleigh a couple of years ago. I bought me a little pick holder. And then I started carrying like a pick connected to me. But whatever i used cheap picks so it was always never a big deal if you lost one started using another pick that was more expensive lose it no big deal but then i finally bought myself a blue chip sr60 guitar pick and i got it engraved yeah um these picks are considerably more than guitar picks. Normally we're talking about, you can go get a pack of guitar picks for like two bucks. Um, these ones are made out of something special in Tennessee, and these are $35. And then it was an extra five for the engraving. And if you want to know if it's worth it, I say yes. Um, I've been playing a V-Pick for a very long time. I like Vinny's picks, vpicks.com. Billy Gibbons plays V pick. Um, that's a cool thing. He those picks are good. Uh, they're a good alternative to this. This is the top big daddy though. And after picking up bluegrass and following the bluegrass guys, uh, you just kind of have to go with what they tell you because they're right. Um, anyway, I'm gonna point out the differences real quick with the uh, Irish washerwoman. Um, the second part I just learned a different way, so if it sounds funky, uh, that's because I just learned the other part. Um, anyways, this is the V-Pick. Um, these are like four bucks. Maybe this one's maybe five or six. Like a fancy when you want it to do more than just be a triangle. Anyway, Irish Washerwoman with the V-Pick. Good, nice and loud, smooth, but I'm not changing anything about the way I hit it either. This is just the way I play. Right? That's the blue chip. Back to the V pick. That was the V pick. or the V-Pick and the Blue Chip Pick comparison. I personally think you probably can't hear it on this little iPhone um, microphone, but this has got a little more umph in the volume. It's, it's a little more curved, um, rounded on the edge, which gives you kind of a nice little roll. These are both mandolin picks, but I play just whatever I can get my hands on. Um, I like the little small ones, if this one had been this shape, it'd have been better for me personally, but I'll rock with this. Um, trick is don't lose it, right? So um, anyway, that's your blue chip pick first take 
from Drew because I've only had this thing for like two weeks and I've only been playing it. I mean, I only haven't really had a chance to get down and dirty with it. music and everybody here on Sorrel Street at Amanda in Wonderland and the adventures of Drew and Amanda. You guys don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. We'll see you next time. And go ahead and get yourself a, uh, a blue chip pick. Don't forget, don't be scared to try it, Sam. <laughs>